こんにちは。I'm Rika Yukimasa. I'm a Japanese chef and I flew from Tokyo to be your host for this episode. Today, I'm going to introduce you to one of our soul foods, onigiri, a savory combination of rice, filling, and nori seaweed. In Japan, they are usually enjoyed as breakfast, portable lunch, and picnic food. There are only two essential ingredients for onigiri short grain rice and also the fresh water. For the filling, you can put anything you like. Today, I'm making mine with tuna mayo wasabi and bonito flakes. Let's get started and grab someone's heart by cooking delicious onigiri. The first thing I want to do is to cook the rice properly. It's very important to use the clean water to cook the rice, so let me show you now. First, you pour fresh water and wash like this using your hand. Drain quickly. Repeat this process about four times. The purpose is to get rid of, of、uh, excess starch out of rice. Purifying water like this will change the taste of the rice completely. Now I rinse the rice and ready to soak the rice. A little bit more than two cups of water here. Then soak the rice for at least 30 minutes. You can see the water is clear and the water has gotten the sweet flavor from the rice. So we'll cook everything together in the pot. And once the water comes to a boil, you turn the heat to low and cook for 13 minutes. Then you would have a perfect Japanese rice. Now we're gonna let it cool just as it is. Next, I'm going to show you how to make two kinds of fillings for onigiri tuna wasabi mayonnaise and bonito flakes. First, let's make the tuna mayo. You're gonna put some tuna and then mayonnaise. This is Japanese mayonnaise. And put a bit of wasabi. And you mix well. Wasabi is made from Japanese horseradish, but it's very spicy. You have to be very careful how much you use. Japanese mayonnaise is a little bit different from American mayonnaise because instead of whole eggs, we use only the egg yolks. It feels much richer and also thicker. And then this one is the bonito flake. Bonito flake is skipjack tuna, fermented and dried piece of Fish. And you mix with soy sauce and a little bit of sesame oil. These two seasonings will make the bonito flakes taste almost like meat. It really enhances the great taste of onigiri. Now that my fillings are ready and my rice is cooked and cooled, we are ready to shape and make the onigiri. This is the greatest part. To make the basic onigiri, you need about four ounces of rice, which is about a tennis ball. And what's important is you wanna wet your hands and about one fifth teaspoon of salt. So, what you do is you hold it you, just like you hold a tennis ball, make a hole, and put tuna mayo. And you don't wanna squeeze it. You just lightly fold and make the shape eight times. And you can place on top of nori seaweed. It smells almost like the ocean. So the thing is, rice is fluffy and the filling is creamy, and this nori part is quite crunchy. And you place this on the platter. So, onigiri doesn't seem like Japanese typical food, but rice can only be made with Japanese climate, having high mountains, creating beautiful soft water, and only with that we can make fluffy rice. This to me is one of the best things you can bring for your lunch because it's very easy to make and it's quite healthy. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite of my onigiri. Mm. And I hope you enjoy making your own onigiri and enjoy at home.